coliform bacteria. Let cold water run for about 3 to 5 minutes. Remove the seal, then cap from the sterile vessel. Fill to the line, then replace the cover, remembering to use aseptic technique. Transport to a certified laboratory, keeping it 0 to 6 degrees centigrade. Hold time for coliform bacteria is 30 hours. Sampling procedures for inorganic samples such as nitrogen, metals, and physical characteristics like hardness, alkalinity, chloride, and pH are as follows. Run cold water tap for 3 to 5 minutes. Then rinse sample bottle once and fill to the shoulder. Replace the cap securely. Transport to your laboratory at 0 to 6 degrees centigrade. The shortest hold time for the above parameters is 48 hours for nitrate and nitrite. Any portion of the sample used for metals analysis will be preserved at the lab with nitric acid to a pH of less than 2.0. Thermal preservation is recommended for physical characteristics such as hardness, alkalinity, and turbidity, as well as nitrate and nitrite. Mark the sample container with your required test, the date and time of sampling, as well as sample location and sampler name. During transport to the lab, try to keep the sample in a dark place to reduce algae growth which can increase the sample turbidity. When testing for first draw lead, collect the very first drops of water by holding the bottle under the tap prior to turning on the cold water. Do not use cold water for at least 6 hours before sampling for first draw lead. When sampling for first draw lead, collect one liter of sample. When sampling semi-volatile compounds, or SOCs, simply run the water from designated site three to five minutes, then fill the bottle to the top and cover. Transport sample to the laboratory at zero to six degrees centigrade. VOC vial simply fill to just over the top of the vial and cover securely. Check to make sure you have no air bubbles by turning upside down. Keep at 0 to 6 degrees centigrade in transit to the lab. Filling your VOC vial with sample, replace cap and turn upside down to see if there is an air bubble. In this illustration, the sampler still has some air in the vial, which may cause the sample to be rejected. Simply take the cover off and carefully add some more sample so that it just overfills the top of the vial. This is called a reverse meniscus. Reclose cap and check for air bubbles as before. Use this same procedure for all small SOC and VOC vials. Transport to lab at 0 to 6 degrees Celsius. <laughs>